right again and again and again and wait how many times okay it's just an audition Hello? Bethany Marie? I have been waiting in your office for 45 minutes. Mom, you can't just walk in here anytime you want. Well, maybe you shouldn't leave the door unlocked. Any lunatic can just waltz on in. What are you doing here? Oh, coffee. Is it nine already? No, Bethany, it's 10. One hour after nine, the time we were supposed to meet. I'm so sorry. I, I mean, I've been trying to finish these quarterly financials and I just figured I'd go into the office late because I've got that meeting with the insurance company later and why didn't you just call me? Well, I thought taking a nice drive through LA traffic would be so much more enjoyable. Of course I called you, Bethany, multiple times. Right. So you came here to scold me. Why do you always think the worst of me? I came here to make sure you're okay. You're right. I'm sorry. Let me just go get dressed and we'll grab coffee. I don't have time for that now. I have a hair appointment at 11. Are these the Cavelli financials? Yes, I just finished them. Oh, anyway, I need you to come over to the house tonight at 7.30 to go over some paperwork. Tonight? Um, I, I mean, I have a lot of, I don't think I... Bethany, I, a lot. I need your help. Is it that important? No. It's not important. I'll see you tonight. Mom? <laughs> So I step into the elevator, and who do I see? Oh. Warren Beatty. Ooh. And he is smiling at me. So the doors close, and he says, Well, up. look who's here. It is so good to finally meet you, Bethany. We are going to make an incredible team. I'm sorry. Do we know each other? Bethany, dear, you remember Mr. Clark from Woodwalk Medical Supplies? We uh, had a conversation about him yesterday. Mr. Clark has agreed to partner with us and bring all of his hospital accounts with him. We told him how thrilled you would be to personally oversee the transition and head distribution. Please excuse me. Bethany, you are embarrassing me. Do you know how hard it was to get this meeting? This is the largest account we have ever had. This would be exclusive. The fact that Mr. Clark wants you to head distribution is incredible. Now, get back inside. No. No? I can't do this anymore. What do you mean you can't do this anymore? This. This, Mom. I can't do any of this. I have to go. Bethany Mary. I will not stand for this. Let go of my arm. Keep your voice down. You listen to me and you listen good. Your father and I gave you everything, everything. We could have hired someone much more qualified to run our company, but we chose you. Now you better march your ungrateful ass back in there and play nice, or so help me God. I never asked to run your company. Excuse me? You think I wanted to live like this? Stop it! You just bark orders at me like a goddamn terrorist, slowly picking away at any ounce of self-esteem I have left. Now let go of my other mother!
Everything okay? Yes, I'm coming. So flat. Hi. Yep. I, I'm here for uh, for the audition. What's your name? Oh, I, I'm not on the. What do we got? She mm -hmm. can read for Izzy. There you go. Why don't you try Izzy? Okay. Thanks. And everybody kind of steps aside for her, like... <clears throat> and everybody kind of steps aside for her, like the Red Sea. <clears throat> Are you okay? I'm sorry, I, I don't think I... Yes, yes, I'm okay. <laughs> 